Hi everyone, it's Alicia with the Dockerty Dozen and today we are doing our weekly grocery shopping haul for my family of 14. But first, coffee. Well, we'll be proud of me. I just did something that I've never done before. Um, my son Bodie has been sick with pneumonia. I've not been able to get out the door to the laundromat to grocery shopping. I mean, I've never grocery shopped this late in the week. Josh is home right now. Don't worry. He's not home alone. Uh, anyways, have not done laundry in a week and a half. At least I don't even know. But remember how I started going to a new laundromat? They do wash, dry, and fold. I've never done this before. I dropped off my laundry. Someone else is washing it and drying it. I told them they don't need to fold it because I would just have to like unfold it to, you know, sort it out again. So they're going to wash it. They're gonna dry it. They're gonna put it in bags for me. I'm like, I'm the type of person who does not ask for help even when I need help. I know, shocking, right? So yeah, that was like a weight lifted off of me. So the laundry will get done. I'm gonna grocery shop. I'm gonna actually, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Hold on. Thank you. <laughs> I am going to, oh, someone just brought me a cart. I'm going to actually probably grab something to eat. I'm at Wegmans by uh, the laundromat. They have a little cafe in Wegmans. I've never, I rarely, rarely go to it, but yeah. I'm probably going to grab something to eat because it is now almost 10 o'clock and I've not had breakfast yet. And I don't think I can get through two hours of grocery shopping without having breakfast. Because, Sorry, this is like a tangent because I've not had a moment in the past two weeks um, because I had a CSE meeting at 7.45 this morning for Alex, which went amazing. He's awesome, as we know. Uh, yeah, so no morning routine today because I was at, had to get going out the door for CSE. But yeah, we were doing the planning meeting for his senior year of high school next year, which is like insane to me he's going to be a senior but it was awesome anyways I wanted to share that because um his school counselor said something that just like warms my heart he's like Alex is extremely kind and relates to people extremely well all people and I was like yes he does you know he is he's kind and he just like the empathy level is just amazing. Anyways, I better stop rambling and I better get grocery shopping. Let's go. All right, he brought me this grocery cart because he saw me sitting here right by the cart thing. And uh, let's go. Want a little cafe? Sounds good. sit down and eat for a moment and post my promo that I need to post today. Back in promo season.
Okay, breakfast break is over, time to shop. All right, let's start with the boxed and canned items. Yeah. Applesauce pouches, yes. Also, I went and got two more carts and left them right there. So I'll have to go back out to the front. Um, I think I'm good on applesauce cups. I'm good on fruit cups. I do need more orange. The foundation on like the mandarin oranges. I need a few more of those. Alright. I did not find the canned fruit at uh, Walmart. I did not get to Costco because of, you know, everything. So I'm just going to get some here. Stock up on the mandarin oranges and the peaches. Peaches, okay, that's what I had. That applesauce pouches. Oh, apple cider vinegar. I need for a recipe. Actually, I don't need a huge one because I don't really use it all that often. Sauce. They ran out of her boss sauce. Uh, there it is. Mild, hot, I'll get one of each. this week. Got a little ugly. A little ugly in my house. <laughs> I don't understand. I think I bought like a thousand pack off Amazon and they're all gone. I'm standing here because I feel like I'm forgetting something in this aisle. Breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs, that's what I need. But I don't think they're in this aisle. Mm, just croutons. Alright, we're getting coffee now. We're going to stock up on coffee now. through a lot of coffee with sick boatster. Alright, let's look at the baking stuff next. And I still have my Costco bag of flour. But I do need brown sugar and sugar. Alright, I'm going to make two bags. Alright, brown sugar, we don't do a lot of lately for recipes. The kids love gingerbread, I'm making that a lot. And carrot cake. And white sugar. I believe I need salt. 
see, these are the things I don't even write down, but I'm just kind of like thinking them through my head as I'm shopping. Cooking spray. I just used the last of the canola oil when I made the gingerbread this week. is a little crinkled because it's been in my purse since this weekend. I'm gonna get this Easter Funfetti cake mix. I'm gonna give Carly and I something to do now that she's switched preschools. She's home um, in the afternoons. I was trying to find stuff, fun little stuff for us to do. I've been wanting to get Fruit Loops because I it's kind of like the way they look on charcuterie boards. I don't know. Add some color, some flavor. Look at crumbs. Um, what else? What else have they been eating? They've been eating um, Lucky Charms, which I'm not seeing, but I see like this one and they don't care. They'll eat this one. I have been eating cinnamon toast crunch. Bread crumbs. I found them. They're in the vegetable aisle here. Okay, I like panko bread crumbs. I'm gonna get more marshmallows. The kids have been really into hot chocolate. Well, James and I have been drinking tea lately. And the uh, little kids have been drinking hot chocolate. Marshmallows. Get some beef jerky. Where's the original? There it is. Okay, I'm looking for Jolly Ranchers. There they are. Do they have a big bag of them? Let's look at the big bags. Yes, they do. I will show you how to make shamrock cookies. Hey, they're on sale too. Anyways, I just need the green ones, but whatever. My kids will eat the rest of them. Also need Hershey bars. And I told Deshaun I would get him more gummy worms, but I don't see the ones he likes. He likes the trolley ones. So like these little bags, they're so tiny. Yep, looks like that's it for now because I don't have time to go to Costco today. So I am some of these until I can get to Costco. They do have a big bag of rollers. Hello. I'm still not seeing Hershey bars though. Now I find the big bags. Okay, put the other ones back.
chips but you guys look what is this I mean it's something I obviously have to impulse buy section of the store. Bodhi has food aversion when he's sick. So he's been eating a lot of snackies. Whatever it takes to keep him eating. That's these. I don't know if I can fit all these in this cup, but we're gonna try. I need like the plain Place, you know? Alright, so we'll just get some of the multi packs with the plain chips. Like this, maybe? It's got barbecue, yeah, that's a good pack. What else? This is a good pack. Okay. Alright, let's go put this up front. Alright, let's grab another cart. Part two. That's the wonky part. Again, did not write it on my list, but we're out of Gatorade. It's good until I can get to Costco. Alright, let's pick out a soda for the float challenge this week. I'm so excited. Look. We have the strawberries and cream Dr. Pepper you guys told me about. Oh my gosh. Definitely what we're using for the float challenge. All right, meat, paper, towels. This part's gonna get filled up pretty quick. I need my big aluminum foil. Some regular ones and some napkins too. My pen must have fallen out of my pocket. Anyways, I'm gonna get the forks and spoons from Canada. Um, just because I can get the big packs. I thought I was going to Costco, but that didn't happen. Now, I do need another bun pan because one loaf of monkey bread is just not enough for my family. Here we go. I was also seeing if they had 8 by 8 pans. just saw these. These are the cutting boards. Well, these are similar to the cutting boards that Hannah sent me. Um, anyways, in case you've been wondering what cutting boards I've been using lately. Thank you, Hannah. Okay, I'm going to finish this cart with the bread. 
keeps <laughs> rolling off to the side. Like every time I leave it, it rolls into the middle of the aisle. I think I need both buns, don't I? Yes, I do. I need hamburger buns and hot dog buns this week. and chickens already have water dishes, but apparently they needed my mixing bowl water dishes. I kind of want to be trendy and get one of these. I'm trying to drink more water and I see everybody with these. I mean, I feel like that would be helpful in reminding me to drink water because I could just have this on the table as I'm doing stuff or whatever. Yeah, we're going to do it. Look at me being all trendy and stuff. We've been needing Q-tips. Um, I kind of like prefer the Q-tip brand ones. I don't know. Is there even a difference? I don't know. What was the other thing I said I needed? Hair ties. Maybe there are a lot of hair ties too. <laughs> it's not just me who's losing them everywhere. All right, we've got these ones, I guess. I guess those will do. I bought all of the curl stuff, and then Alex asked for, he likes this one. Yeah, he needs conditioner, this one. Also still trying to find the twin stuff, which it took me forever forever to find the perfect shampoo and conditioner for them. So put this all in this bowl. Okay, we've also determined that this, or like, yeah, this, any of like tea tree ones are the perfect for breeze here. it looks like they're sold out of it. I've been using it for myself too because we've been swimming a ton at the Y lately so my scalp has been like super dry. My hair's been dry. Um, as you can see, it's like frizzy because we ran out. Um, but oh my god, it's right in front of me. Hold on. Can't even make this up. It's right here on the end cap. This is what I've been using for the twins. That is like a godsend for their hair. I've been using it with myself too. Looks like there's only shampoo, which is is fine. I can look for the conditioner online. Um, yeah, but anyways, the twins like to swim a lot. They should wear a swim cap, but they don't like swim caps. Uh, but this shampoo, I'm telling you, is the best for keeping their hair not dried out. grab my water out of the first part. It's like a workout. Cart three. Don't ask me how, but Nevaeh's socks have disappeared. I'm just gonna grab her some of these. So she like has socks for the moment. These are cute, right? I don't know. 
just get a bunch of different ones. <gasps> I'll show them these ones. Oh god. Where do my kids' socks go? Speaking of my hair drying out, I'm just gonna get a shower cap. Go get the dairy products because I'm right here in the dairy section.
orange juice and creamer. I'm gonna have to rearrange some stuff. Let's see. What do I do here? I don't know. Put this on the bottom. drink choices in our house. I'm never going to tell them not to pick orange juice. milk and chocolate almond milk. Where is it? Yeah, I definitely don't see it. Maybe they keep the almond milk in a different area at the Swegmans. I don't usually do the big grocery shopping at the Swegmans. Yeah, I don't see it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna grab some more Prime because the twins... What? I already drank all that. It went up five dollars since like four days ago and that's a lesson on supply and demand and if you were my kid you would be being bored with that lesson right now because that's what i do to my children okay i found it it is in a different section in the swagmans it's in the what section plant-based Beverages. Oh, that makes sense. All right, they're pretty good over that. Got four of the vanilla, and I'll get four of the chocolate. So now I have to restock that. Chicken and the sausage I no longer need because I came Monday. I did a mini grocery shop that's in my shorts playlist. Um, yeah, I already got the sausage. I don't need that. Just chicken breast. Yes, I really need to get my nails done one of these days. You know, maybe never. Okay, let's go leave this cart up front. Grab one more cart for the produce. Okay, back out front to grab one more cart. And I just realized I left my shopping list in my other cart. I'll go to that, grab my shopping list, go to the frozen, come back and get the produce. Okay, 
They don't need too much. Yeah, I can fit it all in this. Challenge. Let's see. We got strawberry cream soda. So hmm. we could get strawberry ice cream. That might be good. Strawberry. Strawberry. What do you think? Strawberry? Or does anything else like sound like it would be really good? because Bodie will eat those. used up the last of those. Josh actually invented a new casserole last week with the leftover corned beef using these. My shiver spine. Spine shivering. Okay. Whip tapping. And let's look at our list. Garlic bread. Oh, right. We're doing a corn dog party this weekend. If everybody's feeling okay. to go to the other section and get the you know fresh
these. I know. But you know what? Every day, we're just doing the best we can. And if that means you're getting frozen fish fillets, then so be it. Sorry, I'm kind of like impulse buying things that I think Bodie might eat because if you've been following us for a while, when Bodie gets sick, he gets really sick and then he stops eating and then he goes to the hospital to get an IV and that's like, you know, we don't really want that to happen. So we're just like, eat. Eat whatever you want. Ice cream for breakfast? Eat it. My kids are really into these too. corn dogs. I found the breakfast ones, but no, those aren't even the breakfast ones, are they? Those are biscuit roll-ups. They look like corn dogs. Don't they usually have breakfast corn dogs right here? Well, I don't need those until Saturday, so I could always get those another day, I guess. I just, like, don't want to drag Bodhi in anywhere, you know? So we've just been home. Hence why I've not done any day in the life videos for a while because we're home or I'm at the doctor's with Bodhi. All right, maybe corn dogs are down here with pizzas. Nope. Oh, I feel like we're getting closer. We are. and we're done. Berries. justify buying them just for myself. Grapes have gone down too. Get some of those. No, it's not like grapes. They not very good for a while. too good, but there's another section of peppers over here. Because this is as good as it's going to get. So some of this produce I had gotten off the list when I went on Monday. So I'm actually not getting everything. And then I went to Walmart. What night was it? No, I went to Walmart Monday too. I haven't posted that yet. So I got some stuff there too. Very small on those pears. I need apples. A couple of my kids like to eat an apple before they go to bed. Mostly Dash, Jordan, and Jason. So I always have to have apples in the house. And Bree always likes to have a banana before she goes to bed. So I almost always have apples and bananas sitting on the counter for them to grab. Whatever. Oh, there's the club packs of apples. Okay, so this is a three pound bag of apples. And then over here, eight pounds. So eight pounds for 
for $7.99. Or, let's see, three pounds. Or I don't know. of our tomatoes last night for tacos. We did tacos in a bag. So, so good. You just put it all in a bag of Doritos and crunch it up together. Okay, yeah, that's it because the rest I already got this week on my mini hauls. Let's go check out. Take that back. Let's get these. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at those ones. Yes, please. It's like moon cookies, but with green. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, let's find an open register near my shopping carts there. Let's see. Where's a good line? the groceries in.
and then the kids will be home from school. Today is going way too fast. Okay, we're loaded in. It's completely full. And headed home. It's 12.50, so I've been here <coughs> three hours, which really isn't bad because I don't know where my sunglasses are. Why do I always lose my sunglasses? Don't answer that. I know it's because I need to clean my van. Um, <laughs> I've been here three hours, which really isn't bad because I took a breakfast break and sat and spent like half an hour on a promo. So, really not bad at all for shopping, checking out. Checking out usually takes me as long as it takes me to shop. And then putting it away usually takes me as long as it takes me to shop. But we'll get it done. All right, I just got home. Here's the receipt. It's like Star Wars theme music. And now I have to bring it all into the garage and we load it, uh, unload it and organize it on our pantry and we have our spare fridges. But this vlog has been long enough. So thank you for coming grocery shopping with me. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are loved, you belong, and I am so proud of you. I'll see you next time.